Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I have an application that I feel many of you will like as well as many of you have been waiting on and that is Clock Builder. Clock Builder allows you to build customized lock screens down to the T. Um, this is also the sequel to the video I've done in the past, Best Lock Screens where I showed you a number of lock screens and asked you if you wanted to know how to make it and if so to give the video a thumbs up and once I hit 50 likes then I would show you what I used well this is it right here and it's clock builder in this video I'll be showing you how to download it as well as how to use it so enough with the introduction let's go ahead and get these files so you can start making your customized lock screens First, you will need Clock Builder. Next, you will need LS Sync. And lastly, you will need Winterboard. Clock Builder can be downloaded from the App Store for 99 cents, and it is worth every penny, in my opinion. Um, LS Sync, you will need a link in order to access that. I posted the link in the video, and it will be in the description box below as well. Uh, you access it on your device and install LS Sync via iFile. And then lastly, you will need Winterboard. Um, you can get that from Cydia if you don't already have it. If you have any problems or anything with installing these, then just let me know. Drop a comment or send me a message and I will help you. Just make sure you have subscribed to the video. I mean, subscribed and thumbs up the video. <laughs> now for the fun part. So we can go ahead and open up Clock Builder. And once inside, you see we have a ton of pre-made lock screens already entered um, as we entered into Clock Builder. You can just swipe through and look at the pre-made ones. Um, they are categorized. But in order to download one, you simply select one and click download. And after you click download, you then type in what you want to name the theme. So I'm just going to name this one Sun and leave it at that. But as you can see, you have a, a number of lock screens to choose from and you also have categories. For the sake of time, I'm not going to physically go through all of the categories to show you the preset themes. But if that is something you want to see, then drop a message below or send me a message. But moving on, if you click save themes up here in the left hand corner, you will then be directed to all of the themes which you have downloaded. So we're going to edit. Let's edit this one here. We're going to select it. And you see you have the option to delete the theme, activate the theme, rename it, email it, upload it, or set it as your lock screen. In order to edit it, you need to activate it. So we're going to activate it. And then we're going to click Done. And once you've selected Done, you will then be taken out to the lock screen you wish to edit. If you click the trifold, it will take you to your save themes. And if you select this middle icon here, it will allow it will allow you to clear your theme, save it, share it, or set it as your lock screen. You also can select these screws or whatever they are over here in the right hand corner, and it'll let you change your background. Also, your weather settings, you can change that as well, such as the refresh rate, if it's going to be um, in fair what type of units you want to use for your temperature, as well as the icon set you want to use. Uh, you could choose a flat icon set, a HTC, the tick icon set, set, or um, a star dock set. It just pretty much lets you choose the appearance of your weather icons. Once you've configured all of that, you can then go back out to your settings and you can modify all of your text. You can change the font, the color, the opacity, the alignment, if it's uppercase or lowercase. You can also change the format of the time if you want it 25, 24 hours or 12. And you can also change the appearance of the slider at the bottom. 
you do have to respring in order for this change to take effect but you have a lot of options to choose from again in selecting the appearance of your slider that way if you want something a little bit more minimalistic you can choose that right there uh, and that's pretty much settings so let's just journey back out to the lock screen that we're editing and let's go ahead and start trying to change a few things up here so say for instance the time right here if I select it I can move it anywhere on the screen that I so desire I can also change the size of it with this slider here at the bottom I can move anything uh, text related on this screen selecting the tools in the left hand corner allows you to further customize your lock screen the text on your lock screen so we're going to edit the time here selecting the clock will allow you to change the appearance of your time such as if you want it to indicate if it's a.m. or p.m. the only thing about this is that it does not provide you with the codes or the abbreviations needed in order for it to display that so you kind of have to fill your way through selecting the first a at the bottom will allow you to change the color of the text and selecting the a above it will allow you to change the color of the shading you can also change if the text is going to be uppercase lowercase and you can also change the alignment of the text in order to add more to your lock screen you have to select list over here in the left hand corner you're then given a number of items that you can place onto your customized lock screen such as let's see let's hit this plus button up here and you can see you can change the date and time or add the date and time as well as different options for weather such as the temperature or the location name or the conditions or you can add your own custom text to say whatever you like and journey back up to the date and time I don't know if I showed you this section but you can add the year the month and things such as that if it's not already on your lock screen in order to delete a section you just hit the minus button and then select delete and once I select done as you can see here on my lock screen the year is no longer displayed now to get the lock screen on your lock screen you're going to hit the middle tab and you're going to set it as your lock screen and once you've done that you're then going to go to LS sync and where mine says theme files found no yours should say yes and what when it does you're going to sync the theme and then after you sync the theme you will respring it I'm having a little technical difficulty so that's why mine says no but yours shouldn't say that it should all say yes then from there you're going to go to your winter board you're going to select your themes and you're going to find typo clock builder and I believe I went past it but you're going to select it and if you want you can move it to the top just to be on the safe side to make sure it has first priority and after you've done that you're going to hit winterboard and you're going to respring your device and once you return back to your lock screen after respringing you should see your customized lock screen but that is clock builder everyone I hope this application helped and worked out for you I do apologize on the length of it but it's just hard to condense everything on an application that is so detailed like this one but I do want to hear from all of you so drop a comment below let me know what you think how it worked out for you all that good stuff and also make sure you subscribe up top and you thumbs up this video down below and follow me on twitter at tech me out that's t-e-c-h-m-e zero u-t and i do follow back so make sure you make that happen and thumbs up this video and subscribe if you still have not done it already <laughs>
And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.